Venture 2018. Key takeaway themes are innovation, as always, of course, experimental aircraft, young people, how we're going to get more of the youth into aviation, and international cooperation. We're going to see what's happening around the show, so stay tuned. We're going to have interviews, aircraft, and flying. Jack, you were talking about Air Venture being the connection between the past and the present. Would you elaborate on that? Well, yeah, Air Venture has everything from the World War II vintage airplanes and even older this year, celebrating the 100th anniversary of World War I, to probably some of the most innovative and futuristic products yet to actually even be certified in our innovation center. One of the things we're talking about at the show is how to attract young people into the industry. Stevio, you have a story about this. Yeah, I started on YouTube just for fun about 12 years ago. And 12 years later, I'm coming up on a quarter million followers. And it, it, it blows my mind every day to see how many people are becoming pilots, are getting interested in aviation just from watching content on YouTube. The way the, the TBM is matching with the old uh, aviation, what we call the classic and antique aircraft, well, first of all, it's because we are the oldest uh, aircraft manufacturer still in operation today. Uh, we were uh, uh, incorporated in 1911. So we believe a lot in experience, we believe a lot in the weight of history. But it's also about today's time and innovation is part of what we do at the air and today an aircraft like this one is simply connected to the iPhone right here. We will do things like do videos, capture the the knowledge base of the existing people, find different ways of transmitting. We just issued YouTube videos on how to rig engines. We've never done that before, but we captured and distilled this with some of our experts in the company, and we're now spreading it out with that digital and social media that never was done before. And we've had massive positive results as a consequence of that. If you were to describe a little bit about what makes Redline different than uh, other air show teams out there. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, we're a two-ship formation acro. Um, we do things uh, together in sync, and uh, sometimes we do things opposing, and sometimes I chase, chase you around. I'm the number two guy. Uh, Ken and I, we have a pact, and uh, your job is to... Uh, Keep us uh, off the ground. Don't hit the <laughs> ground, and my job is to not hit you. So I think that the mission is very attractive, but it's also a, a type of flying that not everyone gets to do. So you're flying, on average, when you're making an application 10 feet off the ground. If you're doing a wet application, uh, a liquid application, if you're doing a uh, dry application, it's a little higher, about 40 feet. We consider ourselves agriculture's air force. And we're probably outside of the military, one of the most uh, exciting types of flying in, in aviation. 